All right, this video is for you if you're working at your computer and within 20 minutes or so, your neck is starting to hurt. You Maybe you're getting some headaches, shoulder pain. We're going to show you how to correct it. And this has made a world of difference for me personally. I'm excited to talk about it. Mike? So we'll fix this for you with little to no cost. Is this true? It's very true. Oh, okay. <laughs> you think I would lie? I don't know. <laughs> All right, now this video particularly pertains to you, you know, if you're 40 or over and you use cheater glasses, which I fit in that group. You do? Yeah, that's right. Oh, so oftentimes just a simple posture change in the ergonomic setup of your workstation can make all the difference and help relieve some of that neck pain you're experiencing. That's right. Now, we've done a lot of videos on this over the years, and this is something I just learned recently, <laughs> so I was pretty excited to just spread the good word. So the first recommendation for a proper setup is to get the screen height to the right level for you. If you have a laptop, you can buy a holder stand for your desk and you need a separate keyboard to obviously run your hands correctly. But you can also get a monitor like Brad has here. This is actually Brad's new monitor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one has a nice option of lifting it up. You simply go up like this or down. This is actually a little short for Brad at this height. He wants to get to eye level about mid screen. So what we could do is simply get a book or a pad or something and just get it higher. If you have a good desk that's adjustable, you can simply fix that feature there. That's, this is really critical, very critical. Uh, so get books or whatever. We've had people do whatever boxes. Make sure it's steady though. And then the next recommendation for neck pain is also where your keyboard is located. If it is too high or too short, it's going to cause some pain and more stress on your shoulders and your neck muscles. So you want to get a nice proper height a nice 90 degree bend in the elbow joint here. You don't want to be too high or too low. You also want your hands in more of a neutral position and not too flexed or too extended. This is flexed or too extended. Right. So a nice flat keyboard in this case works well for me. Everyone's a little bit different. Um, this is not quite so as critical as the screen height, but we should let you know. The next important feature to look at is your armrest on your chair. You want to have a chair with armrest. Brad is in a stationary chair. Some computer chairs there are adjustable height-wise and angle-wise. That is more optimal, but you don't need to purchase a new chair if you have a standard one. You want your scapula to be supported in a way that it's not depressed down because that's going to put more stress on the neck. So if your armrest isn't tall enough, you can simply put some pillows there to support that and take pain and stress off of the neck muscles. Yeah, and what works? Well, if you take the pillow, fold it up, and put it in here, and then simply you'll feel the, the uh, release of these muscles working when you have them supported properly. If you're only going to work on the computer for 15, 20 minutes, and I don't use these because I don't work on the computer that long. I just don't have a personality to do that. <laughs> I get up and walk, and then I come back and work some more. Uh, that's just another nice option if you have that uh, available to you. Now, we want to get to the, the dollar thing on the uh, title. So this is, this is my biggest fix. Okay, here we go. This is the dollar fix. This is, to me, as important as the height of the screen. Uh, I wear cheaters. I would go to the store, and I got number three. I used to start with number one when I was 45, and I kept getting eyes getting weaker and weaker. And I'd go to the store, and I'd put my cheaters on and, and just go up put something with writing on in front of me about this far away. Oh, three is good now. It used to be two or one. So then Bob came up with this research and he found out that you should be able to focus in on your screen at 40 inches. Now, I found out myself, I go to a little bit less. I just reach out like this. It's a little less than 40. But I found out if I use my number three cheaters at this distance away, Everything is blurry as can be unless I do this. Now it's good. And now I get headaches, neck aches, blah, blah, blah. So the th number three cheaters are thrown out when I work at the screen. I go all the way down to number one, and ta-da, everything is beautiful. It's crisp, it's clean, and I can work like this as opposed to like this. And the thing is, I really never knew I was doing this because I was working and thinking about my work. And then my wife would say, your neck looks like a gooseneck. You're going to hurt your neck. She didn't say it like that. She was very polite, naturally. Uh, one way or another, this will make a big difference if you haven't done these little things. So work hard, 
work safe and be comfortable. Mike, anything else? We didn't talk about the new screen option as well yet. Well, I didn't because then you have to spend money. So if you want to get a bigger <laughs> screen, actually that helps quite a bit too when you get this age. Definitely helps. I had a smaller I have a smaller laptop and I was doing the same thing Brad was doing to be able to see everything. I upgraded to a larger screen and it made a huge difference. And you can get away with the cost thing there is simply if it's your birthday or Christmas, <laughs> there you go, a bigger computer screen. Yeah. Mom, dad, grandma, grandparents, grandkids, when you're older like me, maybe the grandkids or your children are making some money. They can buy you something nice <laughs> for a couple hundred bucks. You know what I'm saying? You didn't find you know, any... You got to get what you can get. You didn't find money in the Easter eggs? No. Oh. No, not this year. I didn't either, but dang nephew's got it. <laughs> All right, very good. Enjoy the day and work safely. Add some comments down below what works for you and give these tips a try.